Good morning guys. Today is still Saturday, July the 27th, 2019. It is now 9.53 a.m. And I opened my chicken coop to let my chickens out to free range. And um, I noticed this guy in here. This is a Texas rat snake. And it comes in here to steal eggs. Now, um, so I guess you could call it a chicken steak. <laughs> Years ago, when I first um, got pullets from Murray McMurray Hatchery, you, you, back then you'd have to order 25 in an order. But anyway, one day I came home and there was one of these guys inside the chicken coop and it had like three or four lumps in it. Needless to say, those were the pullets and it had gone anaconda on them. So if you have pullets, you need to put up really, you, you need to put up some hardware cloth. Okay, that's, um, oh heck, what would you call it? Um, it's not an unclimbed horse fence, but the same rectangular shape, but welded wire. There you go, it's welded wire to keep these guys out or else they will get your pullets. And um, as you can see, he can squeeze, the snake can squeeze through regular chicken wire. And you see the size of that. There's no other way it could have gotten in here because my coop is surrounded by chicken wire. And then I have um, horse nun climb around it. You may call it no climb around it to keep the bobcats, coyotes, raccoons, and other guys out of it. Because I hear that a raccoon can tear through the chicken wire. I have no idea though. But um, they certainly frequent this area. So anyway, um, it'll eat some eggs and then it can't get out. It'll just stay here and chill until I come out here. So I'm going to have to relocate this guy. But um, let me see if I can get a close-up of the head. It is a beautiful snake. Now, if I didn't know any better and I walked in here, I'd, at first glance, I'd think it was a rattlesnake. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, obviously it isn't, and I know better. And thankfully, I haven't seen any rattlers out here. There's supposed to be pine rattlers out here, and I don't want to see any. Um, I, I come across copperheads, water moccasins, and um, I even ran a coral snake over with my lawnmower unintentionally. So uh, we definitely have venomous steaks out here in East Texas. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye.